Hey, it's a little cow paws here, it's cow forever here, um, and, uh, figured, <laughs> figured I'd kind of share an insight that I just got. I was kind of like thinking, you know, I've been trying to focus on eating this raw diet in sexually fermented food, and I'm pretty sure that the beets are raw or, oh well. <sighs> but anyways, I was thinking like, Okay, when you eat food, you know, sometimes it's good to just eat like one food at a time or like drink this one at a time and waiting for a half an hour or an hour for your stomach to empty before you eat another food. And it made me kind of think like about time, like what is time, you know, like uh, glucoric acid, like there's a certain cycle of time that this glucoric acid has like an orbit like that that orbits the glucoric acid as a reference point and then that orbit also orbits other cycles within your body so it's like when you talk about time it's like a fractal it's not and, and it's more circular it's 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 not uh it's not linear like people think that is just like weird to think of time like that i mean you think of the time of on earth of like night and day and like years night and day is the earth rotating facing the sun or facing the out, outer outside of the solar system so and then a year is the rotation around the sun and then there's even bigger cycles of time where our solar system moves out and then in to the center of the galaxy which we're moving in now that's why there's so much divine light we're moving literally like through a bunch of like cosmic radiation and light that is like waking people up but uh um so it's like like time is like cycles it's like there's so many cycles of time within our body and when that fractal gets gets into a disharmonious pattern which we've which in the grander scale is harmony but we like as we've gone farther outside of uh our galaxy we've been doing this mitosis like where two cells divide during the creation of like a baby right or or creation of new cells in your body you know during this mitosis where where the dna gets cut and then in in half and then reforms another side in that cell division that's what humanity has been doing humanity has been doing that through this dark period through this really masculine brain period where where we've been really far out and now we're coming back in so it's like we went so far out we separated we became like two bodies or like two new cells right we i mean this is just like kind of an idea it's not really literal but it's like we've div been dividing ourselves and now it's like we're coming back into oneness and reconnecting our wholeness of our body and so collectively humanity is like being born again and and that's it's like we're being birthed and 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 this is just a way to look at it. Don't get attached to like any teachings at all. You know, don't grip onto it so tightly. Allow it to serve you and to teach you and then be and then let it go to be open to receive new teachings. So yeah. We've been going through a huge shift. And a lot of people think, oh, it's bad. We've been in a dark period. It's like, no, that it that that was like evolving us. That was that was our expansion. That was our expansion in that way. And now it's like we're contracting and expanding within ourselves. So an expansion can be a contraction just on a different level. And a contraction can be an expansion on another level. So these contractions are really happening right now where we've separated so far. Now we're contracting back into ourselves. And through these contractions, we'll create another expansion in 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 into more wholeness where we can... It's like now we're realigning and connecting with the whole entire cosmos where our expansion of what we thought as a species is evolving into a cosmic mind, right? Because we've had the galactic, or we, into a galactic mind. We've had the planetary mind, you know? We lost the planetary mind or we forgot about the planetary mind when we separated ourselves from nature and each other 
to learn and to grow. It's like it's like getting away from something. Okay, there's space. We've created all this space. Now we have to learn how to build bridges and reconnect back together. And we create all these cool new things we otherwise wouldn't have. So what humanity just went through was a very good thing. It was a very tough period of of human evolution and you know as we go back in and then go back out which is a long time from now but i'm just saying that because i think that next time when we go through this it'll be different i think this is just a really difficult stepping stone in humanity and there's i guess i get that information from other people as well that say that so you know we went for through a particularly tough time in humanity and now it's like we're going to step up to the next level of our human evolution and well we are doing that now and it just takes a little bit of work and it's and it's a lot of times more about allowing things and surrender and and also allowing yourself to surrender to the work that you need to do as well that's really important because you know a lot of people think oh i don't got to do anything it's like no you do have to participate it's about allowing and surrendering and allowing and surrendering yourself to go and lift you know those 30 pound dumbbells right i used to lift weights I used to be a power lifter but like and, and it feels good it's just like a lot of people misunderstand letting go sometimes you got to let go of letting go right it's all about how you're where you're circulating energy as well so it's like what are you circulating your energy in? are you have you been circulating your energy in one thing for too long have you been sitting there and watching YouTube or face or YouTube or uh, Netflix for hours on end, you know, that might be where you need to be circulating energy so you can contract within yourself and rest. But if you've done that for three weeks, maybe it's time to go for a walk or like go out in nature or something like that. And so I hope that like really helps you with uh, what you're doing in, in, in helps guide you to, or helps you see the guidance that you've been trying to guide to yourself in, and maybe this is the guidance that is for you, I guess. Uh, maybe, maybe I am you guiding you. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. And uh, thank you for being here and listening and paying attention to me and watching this video. Because I do have good advice. And I totally understand that, uh, you know, I'm so full of wealth that it takes a little bit of time that life is kind of holding me back saying hey wait there's something better so that's also something for you to keep in mind as well like okay things aren't working out for me right now i got all these gifts i'm trying to share with them it's like you're developing the gifts and further and there are better opportunities if you would just wait and be patient and wait for the divine timing and it's okay to feel frustrated it's okay to Acknowledge the anger and the frustration that you already have. Don't be in denial of the anger you already have. Find healthy ways to express it to yourself and possibly the people around you. Whatever you need to do, you know, trust your heart, follow your heart.